So today we are going to see acupuncture treatment of low back pain, right? So as you know that how to formulate a protocol, right? So first of all, we have to see what are local points. So if it is low back pain, then we have to see local points around lumbar spine region. Then we have to see what are the meridian points, right? And then we have to see what is the distal point. So distal point for low back pain is UB 40, right? Similarly, then we have to see the analgesic point. So analgesic point in this case would be LI4 as well as ST44, okay? And then we have to check the points which are uh, specific to the low back pain, which is which is uh, between fourth and fifth metacarpal, that extra point, right? The other points includes UB57 and UB60. UB62 is an additional sedative point, which is quite important. In cases of acute low back pain, <clears throat> in case of acute low back pain, the point is DU26 and DU20. Okay. What is the use of DU20? Anyone can answer? <clears throat> So DU20 is a sedative point, right? And it's a master point. It enhances functions of all the acupuncture points in the body, right? As far as influential point is concerned, which is influential point for back pain treatment, low back pain? UB11. So UB11 is an influential point, okay? Now let's see how we are going to needle some points, okay? Uh, in lumbar spine, again, important points are DU3 and DU4. DU3 is between L4 and L5 spinous process, and uh, DU4 is between L2 and L3 spinous process. Okay. So first, we are going to clean the part before application of needles. So for locating L5 spinous process, first you locate the L4 and then you see the L5, L4, L5 interspinous space. And then slowly insert the needle to one cone. And Similarly, you take out one more needle. This needle is of 25 mm length. And then similarly, you check for L4, then palpate L3, and between L2 and L3, you would have you have to insert another needle. So this point is DU5 the point which was below is, sorry, this is DU4, the point which was between L4 and L5 is DU3, okay. Uh, if you calculate 1.5 cone lateral to the DU meridian, you get UB meridian, okay. So on both the sides, you get UB meridian and you may find many more such points, okay. Then again for the treatment, you will get then you have to palpate the ashi points, which are the tendermost points, okay? So you have to palpate all around the low back pain, ask the patient, and then try to find out which is the most tender point. So if let's say this is a tender point, you can apply needle, and you can direct the needle towards the spine. So that's how you're going to put it. And one important point you know, which is also known as meridian point, it is applied in between the, this is between the lateral malleus and TA, right? So this is the midpoint. So first you clean the part with the spirit 
and then you can apply the needle. Similarly, you can apply one more point which lies on the medial aspect that is between the medial malleolus and TA at the midpoint. So this is K3. So K3 could be regarded as meridian point when you treat back pain. Okay. So that's how you have to needle it. Yeah. So there are a few more important points which we have to know. One is DU20, right? Similarly, there is distal point for the low back region, which is UB40, that is at the midpoint of the popliteal crease, right? And then where the bulk of the calf muscle ends, at the center you have point UB57, okay? So all these points could be added for the treatment of low back pain, right? Similarly, if a patient has sciatica, then there are additional points on the hip, which is GB30, and all the points which are along the course of the radiation of pain could be added. Okay, So, there would be other points on the UB meridian which could be added of the thigh as well as of the calf. There is one more point which is below the lateral malleus that is UB62 which is a sedative point that could also be added and needle could be inserted. And the analgesic point here is ST44. So there also the needle can be inserted. Okay, So you have to palpate and find out the adjacent and local points nicely. You have to ask the other patients and you have to try to needle. So four or five points would be at least the uh, local points or the adjacent points which are of maximum tenderness. So that is how you complete the total protocol. Here we are seeing the acupuncture treatment for tennis elbow. First we are going to find important local points here. So LI11 is the best point which is situated at the lateral end of the elbow crease. LI11 is also a hit point. Homeostasis in immune enhancing and tonification point. One cone below LI11 is LI10. Okay. And then we have to find the most tender points which are also known as Ashi points. Find those points needle them and later you have to needle the analgesic point which is Li4. Okay. Now one important point which is influential point in this case would be GB34. GB34 is located in the inferior aspect of the fibular head. Okay entry inferior to the fibular head is GB34 which is influential point for muscle and tendon. Okay? So that is going to complete the protocol. In cases of acute pain you can also add DU20.